Which can survive and get the hand raise at the end. I knew that I couldn't give up a takedown at the end, and he's so good once he gets to his leg attacks. I needed to make sure that I was able to keep both my legs back. Unfortunately, I only got one back, but it worked out. I only gave up a push out. It's not the first time you faced this the blow a little bit, kind of like you'd faint in a boxing match, so you just got to battle. You know, it seems no matter how good your opponent's defense is, you find a way to score. Talk a little bit about that. Um, we do a lot of practice, you know, working on getting through a guy's defense, getting through his hands, getting getting our finishes clean. Um, the biggest thing for me was to make sure that I finish my finish my takedowns clean, and, and don't, get, don't get caught up in the and the antics of the match, stay focused, do what you know how to do, and that's wrestle. How do you avoid overconfidence going tonight, considering even Cox didn't expect to be here? Um, I, I, Jaden's a good competitor, you know what I mean? He's strong, he's big. Um, we'll just see how good his freestyle savviness is, and um, I'm excited to wrestle. I think size, I mean, he's going to be close to 200 pounds, I would assume, by tonight. That's it? <laughs> what are you going to weigh? Uh, probably what I weighed this morning, then yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that, the day before that, the day before that. So what is your next weight? I weigh about 185, um, but it fluctuates depending on what time practice is, and what time you work out, and stuff like that. So, luckily I was able to get not as big of a breakfast as I normally get, but we got a pretty good size breakfast. So when you're facing opponents who may be a little bit stronger than you physically, does that change your mentality going into the match? You know, I wrestle, I wrestle 96 kilos. Um, Enoch, Fran 97, sorry. Enoch Francois, he's probably one of the strongest guys at that weight class. And if I can handle his strength in the practice room, I'm not too worried about these guys' strength out here. Um, one thing is they are a little bit faster than Enoch. But they're not faster than my other training partner that I have, so it's a good combination of the two to have both Nate Carr Jr. and Enoch Francois. And you talk about your prior experiences in the World Team Trials Finals, you know, and what you can learn from that to bring it to tonight. You know, I just got to be prepared off the whistle. That's the biggest thing um, that I need, need to remember. You know, even you can jump the whistle if you want, you know, so maybe I'll use that to my advantage. I don't know. Um, but just be focused every second of the match. No, no, no lags in judgment, and uh, just go, go wrestle. This is gonna be fun. It's a great environment. And, I don't know how many people here—ten thousand at least—and uh, so it's just gonna be an awesome environment to wrestle in. I'm sure there'll be more people here tonight, uh, considering Kyle Snyder and Jordan Burroughs are wrestling. Uh, but uh, I'm excited. And Tony Ramos, please. Uh, okay, we have total talks. Obviously, you usually got Taylor. Your first match was a scare. Yeah. Maybe just talk to that match and, and the back and forth one. You know, Richard Perry is a, a, a really tough competitor. He's really strong. He's, he's really fast. He's got good reattacks. And he's a left leg lead. So um, I don't wrestle a lot of left leg leads, which isn't, isn't a problem, but it's just something new. And you can see at the start, I was having trouble getting my attacks. And then I started feeling where his feet were going to be and, and started doing his motion and was able to pick him out after that.